All right, let's take a look at holes 13 and 14 now. For hole 13, we are going to be setting up at min with our sniper, having a red ring touching the rough on the right, using a titan or kingmaker, but I would suggest having your wind under 6.5. So once you find that position, you could add your spins. The adjustment here is 1 to 1 plus 0 0.2. So I have 5.3 wind. I'm going 5.5 rings. And you'll see this one drop dead center for the hole in one. So here's some screenshots, the red ring at min. And then our second bounce should almost be dead center of the fringe line. Now for hole 14, I'm going to be showing you two options. This is a safer play in the play that I am going to be playing. We are going to be using a... Your quarterback with a kingmaker with a QB 9 and 10. We're going to be setting up at the top of the plus 1. So make sure you find the plus 2 and then go right underneath that. If you have a quarterback 7 or 8, you're going to be setting up at the top of the plus 5. The adjustment here is 1 to 1 plus 0 0.2. So I have 6.1 wind. I'm going 6.3 rings. No curl. Make sure you are not going in overpower and you pull this one straight. We want to be 300 yards and we definitely don't want to be over 305 yards. For our second shot, we are going to be pushing up from min. So one thing I want to do different here for sure is to have our guide going to the hole. Do not have it going through the hole. I made this shot twice and it did come in a little hot and I probably should have reduced this for my live play and it did smack off the pin. So I would suggest going about 1.5 topspin but count up and have your red ring by the upper part of the left rough and just have your guide going to the hole. The adjustment here was plus 5% or sorry plus 0% at club. Now for hole 14 Oh, sorry, the second option here. If you have a extra mile 8 plus, you could use this option. I'm going with six top spin, one left spin, and I'm aiming to have my guide in the center of that pad. I'm adjusting plus 10% power five numbers. And then once I adjust, I'm pushing up three yards. So I would give this one a test, maybe try something new. You could always try to go left of that pad and hit the rough and roll out. I think that would probably be the better option for this shot because there was really no consistency with this. I did make my shot from the rough twice on here, so as long as you do hit perfect or very, very close to perfect, depending on which club you have, you should see this one drop for eagle if you do land in the rough, but you do have to hit perfect. One thing you want to avoid is 
there's like a little bit of a glitchy spot. So add your spins to where it's not jumping so much. And I did not really adjust as it's a very short chip, so there's really no need for it. Just do your best to hit perfect, and if you do, you should see this one drop. So that's holes 13 and 14.